everyone, welcome back to the Jack Chapel Show. And today we're talking about how much money you need to retire. Now, if you plan on being an entrepreneur and building up a business empire, you don't really need to worry about that too much, but for the for 99% of people, you're gonna need to know how much money you actually need to retire. So I kind of have this general rule. Um, so we're gonna assume that you're gonna retire around the age 60, 65, 68, something like that. But there's this general rule that I have, and some people uh, go with a 4% rule. I like to call it a times 25 rule. And I'll explain what that is. So the times 25 rule means that take your typical yearly expenses. And by the way, your, your yearly expenses should are typically, at when you retire, about 60% of like peak income. So whatever 60% of your peak income is, you know, before you retire, that's what your yearly expenses should be. So um, anyways, we're gonna get to this here. So whatever your yearly expenses are, times that by about 25. And that's about how much money you need for retirement. It's really simple. But don't worry, I'm not gonna leave you a high and dry there. This video's not gonna be that short. I'm gonna give you guys some examples and uh, of different income levels, different expense levels, and I'll, maybe you'll fit into one of these categories. Hopefully you will, and, and, but maybe you won't. Maybe you won't. So we're, we're gonna go start off with the average person. So the average person, uh, income, income, is $33,000. People don't realize that the average household income, I'm talking for retirement for one person. I'm not talking about it for two people. For one person, the average personal income is $33,000, which would mean that their expenses, EXP, is roughly 20K. I'm just gonna make it rough. It's you know roughly 60%. So when you take the times 25 rule, the amount of retirement money you should have saved up is roughly 550K, or about 500K, about $500,000 actually. And so people get scared because they start doing the math, they're like, wait, I, at my, you know, I was only making $33,000 a year and I have to save up $500,000 over four decades? Like, that seems impossible. But you actually don't need to save up $500,000. You'll probably only really need to save up about two to $300,000 because if you start saving for retirement early, and start investing in retirement early, compound interest on your investments will start to add up. And so if you, you'll only in your lifetime really need to invest two to $300,000 and hopefully your investments will cover the other two to $300,000. That's usually what happens. So people get scared by this $500,000 number. In all honesty, you're only gonna have to save up about half of that number. Now saying that, if you haven't started investing and you're, you're 55, and you're 60 watching this right now, that's a little bit different, but I know that the 90, I think about 90% of my audience is people under the age of 35, and so I'm talking to you guys right now. So we're gonna move on to the next example here, someone who, um, who is poor, who probably you know, might not be thinking about retirement, they may have to work for a lot longer time, but I'll just give you the example here. We'll go through these quick. So let's just say their income is typically, you know, 25K is someone who's, you know, not doing too well. Um, their expenses would be about 15K, maybe a little bit more than that. Meaning that after the times 25 rule, they would have to have saved up about 375K over the course of a few decades, which, you know, that, that's gonna be tough. Um, even if you're young and your peak income is 25K and you, you live poor for the vast majority of your life, you're probably gonna have to work and you're not gonna be able to save up that much money because that is really tough. Now we're gonna move on here to, to middle income. So this is someone who makes, uh, let's see here, but their income would be about 43K. Which is, you know, that's okay. That's, that's middle. Like your, your middle class, if you make 43K, your expenses are around, I don't know, 26K, I think. Meaning that after the times 25 rule, after you multiply that by 25, uh, your retirement would have to be roughly 650K. Which is, again, saying that uh, 650K, you're only gonna have to save up about $300,000 in your lifetime, or four, three to $400,000. And hopefully the investments will, uh, will add up the difference there. Now we're gonna, move on to, we're gonna move on to a few more classes here, and hopefully you fit into at least one of these. So upper middle, which is where a lot of people will 
end up fitting in, especially by the time they're about 50, they're going to have a, a nice income here. Upper middle, so your income is roughly 55k. Your expenses would be about 40k. This is, you know, for, more for the average person. This is more for the average older person with the family, etc. Uh, expenses 40k. So you multiply that by 25, and we hit a magic number. We hit one million dollars. You multiply 40k by 25. You need a million dollars for you to retire, which uh, again, I, I just want to reiterate this, that's only about $500,000 that you'd have to actually put in to your investment account, into your savings account, into your retirement account, and hopefully it'll add up over the course of, of decades if you do this properly. Now we're going to move on to upper class. So this is, or upper income, whatever you want to say, upper class. So your income is 100 k Oops, um, your expenses would be about 60, 60K, and then you would need for retirement roughly 1.5 million. Again, that's about 750 in your investment portfolio over time if you invest at the age of 20, 25, 30 years old. And now we're gonna move on to balling. <laughs> If you're a baller, this is, this is the next level up. So if you're a baller, you're making about over 250K. Um, so we're going to do baller. <laughs> uh, baller, you're close to the 1%. Your income's 250K. 250. Your expenses would be what? 150. You need an estimated for retirement about... 3.7 million dollars. 3.7 mil. How about that? 3.7 million dollars for retirement for someone who's balling. Um, now, saying that, a lot of the times, this is just if you're taking, you know, 60% of your peak income is your typical expense for retirement, a lot of the times you only really need 50% because a lot of people will live more frugal after they uh, quit work and retire. I mean, that's what my grandparents did. My grandparents, uh, you know, they, they still pinch pennies even though they own, uh, they own some real estate that's probably worth well over a million dollars right now. They still like saving an extra 10 or 15 cents at the grocery store on a, on a can of uh, tomato sauce. So in certain cases, you, you may actually need more, but in most cases, you may need less. So just for the example here, middle class, you're gonna need 650K for retirement. You might only need 600K or 575 or 550, but that, I'm just giving you a ballpark estimation of what most people um, would need for retirement at the age of 65. Now there's also another option, which is uh, build up enough wealth and become a multimillionaire where you don't even have to think about this, which is uh, kind of what, the, what path I would, uh, I I'm gonna hopefully be on at least. Build up you know, a giant, whatever, real estate portfolio, stock fund, whatever it may be, build up a bunch of businesses and you just keep earning passive income and you don't even have to worry about a retirement account. That's the way that I would like to go. I don't know if you guys, but I know a lot of people watching this are investors, so maybe you guys like this, but maybe you guys like starting businesses as much as I do. So that's the other route to go is make enough money where you don't even have to think about it. Build up enough of a, a entrepreneurial empire where you don't have to think about retirement accounts. So. I think that's going to cover it. Uh, do you like this rule? My time is 25 rule. It's just flipping the 4% rule, but it's just easier math. So I think that's it. I think I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Leave a comment down below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? And that's it. Thank you very much for watching. You're all very beautiful people. I'll see you guys in the next video.